Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> hey Muslims, but just can't seem to tell the difference between a Sikh and a Muslim. Last month, vandals sprayed, quote, white power and anti-Muslim slogans on a Sikh temple in Yorkshire. And Glasgow's Sikh temple fell victim earlier this year. How much does your life have to suck that even when you try racism, you can't even get that right. The first instance where the Sikhs won our hearts. Did you know this Islam was created by the Muslim Brotherhood in 1990? This Islam is racism. It's true. It's not hate. It's the truth, buddy. We don't need that kind of racism. I'm not racist. What about Sharia? Do you support Sharia? This was in Canada when a Sikh, who is the brother of a Canadian member of parliament, was confronted by Islamophobic hate speech. What made this stand out was rather than saying I'm not Muslim, I'm a Sikh, which would have implied had I been Muslim, then that sort of speech would have been okay. My brother Jagmeet Singh taught me to always confront racism. I will never respond to an Islamophobe by stating I am not a Muslim. Instead, I will always stand with my Muslim brothers and sisters and say hate is wrong. Uh, now his brother, of course, is federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh. Uh he spoke in general against hate without specifying who he was. And him being confronted as a Muslim actually proves the point that Islamophobia is racism despite not being a race. Here's a clip from a podcast I did with Asim to explain more. I'll give you an example of uh, uh, a white Muslim. When he wasn't Muslim, you know, he's walking around the street, he's not being profiled for the reason of being Muslim. Mm. But as soon as he becomes one, grows maybe a beard, starts wearing a topi, you know, starts wearing whatever Muslim garb he thinks is Muslim, right? Yeah. Um, then all of a sudden he's placed in a different matrix. Okay, and that matrix, it looks at him and it racializes him. It, it turns him based on how he looks into a potential threat, into a matrix of threat that wasn't uh, there before he became a Muslim, right? So that's why what we're saying is that Islamophobia is a form of racism. It's okay. a manifestation of racism. Um, that in its logic is no different, right? The second instance where the Sikhs won our hearts. This is the first turbaned British Sikh MP. If I decide to wear a turban, or you decide to wear a cross, or he decides to wear a kippah or a skull cap, or she decides to wear a hijab or a burqa, does that mean that it is open season for right honourable members of this house to make derogatory and divisive remarks about our appearance? When will the Prime Minister finally apologise for his derogatory and racist remarks? I was actually looking forward to the response of the Prime Minister, but his answer can be summarised in three blobs of faeces. The first blob. I speak as somebody who is not only proud to have uh, Muslim ancestors, but to be related to Sikhs uh, such, as, uh, such as himself. I'm not a racist because my great 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 grandfather also happened to be brown as well. The second blob. We have the most diverse, the most diverse cabinet in the history of this country. Hey, we've hired a few coloured people so we can say what we want. And thirdly, what we have yet to hear from anywhere in the Labour Party is any hint of apology for the virus of anti-Semitism. You started it. You apologise for what you said. I count three blobs. The only thing left to do now is flush. Yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you Prime Minister for that colon cleansing answer. Guys, I'm just going to end with this. I've said it before, hate does not discriminate. Stop it when it starts, otherwise eventually it's going to come to your door regardless of your race. Here's the dirty little secret. We love to hate because it gives us people to blame. The media loves people to hate because it sells papers. The politicians love us hating other people because it makes us easier to control and pass more restrictive laws. So let's be a bit smarter and wiser yeah regardless of who or what you are don't hate other people disagree with them by all means 
All right, guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Salamu alaikum.